It's been seven years since you paid off this debt, but it's still showing up on your credit report. So how do you get rid of this debt? Hey, what's up everyone, Ralph here. So like many Americans, you're probably someone that struggles with having good credit. Now for whatever reason, it could be due to a, a late payment or maybe you have a bunch of uh, inquiries on your credit report. Maybe you had a foreclosure or maybe you had a bankruptcy depending on which type. But in for this vi particular video, we're gonna talk about, let's say you had a debt a, pay a debt, and you paid it off, yet it's still showing on your credit report and you're, just, you're trying to figure out um, how to get it off. So let's first talk about what's supposed to happen. So usually typically, like let's say you had an inquiry. Inquiries tend to stay in your credit report for like two years and then it's supposed to drop off after that but in regards of a, a payment a late uh you know a debt that was settled it tends to stay on there for seven years so after the seven years the credit bureaus are supposed to remove it but in your case it's probably you're, you're wondering why it's still showing up so what do you do so the first thing you want to do is like you want to dispute that, right? And you want to use a dispute letter. And I got I got here for you guys a sample of a, a dispute letter of like how um, once you, you once you build up your once you figured out what um, you're disputing, here's a here's like a sample letter of like how to construct it so you can send it to the bureaus and make sure you want to if it's showing on the three bureaus like uh, Experian, uh, Equifax, and TransUnion, you want to make sure you send an individual individual letter to each one of those bureaus. Don't think you're gonna send it to like one of those uh, credit bureaus and then. And, you know they're, they're gonna contact the, the other bureaus and say make sure oh, you know what Johnny over here you know they, they, they have a debt that they paid and it's still showing up and thinking they're gonna remove it you got to send a letter to each one of these bureaus and tell them and let them know that you're disputing that item um, that shouldn't be there all right so as you're just you know you're creating this letter so th this is how you want to construct it all right and it's a, it's a simple letter it doesn't have to be long it's very quick and simple so obviously you want to make sure you have the date you want to have your name address uh last four digits of your social security number you don't really need the whole thing and make sure you have the bureau's address you know if you you're sending it to Equifax. Uh, you make sure you put the Equifax uh, um, address on there, TransUnion, uh, Experian, and so on. And then when you have uh, the the little subject line, you want to make sure you you're clear. You want to just make sure that you summarize exactly what 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 the letter is about. So in this case, is what letter to remove inaccurate credit information. So they know exactly what that's about. And then you have the body of the letter. And this is where you gotta break it down into three parts, right? So that introductory part, you're gonna have, you're gonna introduce, like you're gonna summarize quickly what this letter is about, right? So you, you break it down, it's like, all right, this is a letter, um, you know, there's a negative item on there, that there's an issue. And then you have the the, the main item, I mean, the main part of the, the, the letter, and that's gonna show, that's gonna identify exactly the account. Like when you're looking through your credit report, um, there's there's a, there's a you know, they have the account number, they have the, the creditor, let's say it's Discover, um, and then they're gonna have the account number. You wanna make sure you put that in there as well. So, and you, and if it, and if, let's say your account number is one, two, three, four, five, X, 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 you wanna make sure you put that exact thing on there. So you make sure you put that creditor's name and then along, as, along with that is the, the account number that's associated with that credit. So they know that. And then in that third part, all right. The third part of the letter, uh, you want to make, you want to instruct them what you want them to do. You gotta let them know exactly what you want them to do. Like you tell them, all right, you know what? I want you. Let's say, for example, let them know that you want this item removed or updated. And as you can see it right here, I put it in. For example, so for example, this is exactly what you're gonna do at that last part of the paragraph. Let them know um, what you want this. Item. Let them know exactly what you want them to do. Let them know and tell them that you want the item removed updated depending on what the issue is but in, in this case you want this item removed because obviously it's been after seven years and this item shouldn't be there so you tell them exactly what you want them to do so this is pretty much how and then obviously when you're doing your signature uh, you don't have to sign your signature just put your you know just print your name and that should be it and then you send it off and I'll typically I would send a certified mail uh, but you don't have to do that you know um, but you uh, to just to make sure that they received it and it's secured uh, you could send it certified but if you're trying to save money you want to spend it then you can just send the certified mail just understand that there's a risk that it gets lost and you know certified mail at least um, gives you security to know that they did receive it here's the letter so now let's let's talk about something else right now this is all predicated on the fact that you pay, you had a debt, right? Let's say you had a debt, and like I said, you settled with that debt collector, you paid it, and it's still showing up after seven years. Now, regardless if you paid that debt, let's say it's a charge off, some people are, get confused that, oh, I paid this debt, and it's still showing up on, on my credit report. Even though that you paid it, it's still going to show up right and it's going to stay on there for seven years so some people think you know as soon as i pay that debt it should be on it be gone in like 30 days that's not the way it works um whether it's a late payment it's a debt settlement a charge off it even though you paid it it stays on your record for seven years then after that seven years it comes off so in this in this in this case obviously it's a paid debt 
But what if you didn't pay the debt, right? What if you didn't, what if you had a debt that was charged off and you never made payments? So I'm gonna break that down quickly for you as well. So what happens is after seven years, let's say those seven years pass and you never made any payments, no collectors came after you, which is, which is fine. But after seven years, it's still supposed to come off off your credit report. Even if you didn't make a payment, let's say you had a debt and you no one, no collectors that come after you, but you still owe the debt. Uh, but no one's, no one said that you owe the debt after seven years, it's supposed to come off your, your credit report. And you can still send that dispute letter, even though you still owe that debt. Technically after seven years, if it's still in your report, you can send this dispute letter and let the credit bureaus know that, um, there's some inaccurate information. Could you please take this off? And they have to do it. Now there's one caveat. Can, the one question is, could a uh, collector still come after you? The answer is yes, they can. But after there's a thing called statutes of limitations, it depends on your state. It could be anywhere from like four to six years. Um, after that, after that, if, if, if you had that debt and after four, four to six years, depending on the state, if no one's come claim that debt, and let's say somebody after that, after that, a lot of times someone tries to come after you and say you owe this debt, they can still send you letters. They can still call you, but that statute of limitation allows them. I mean, what it does is it, it allows that they can't, it says that they can't sue you. They can still come after you for the debt, but they cannot longer sue you, can, can no longer sue you. And still after the seven years, remember they, that thing has to fall off your credit report. That's just by law. It has to come off your credit report. So you still have to send that letter in, but just understand that they can still come after you. They can still send you letters. They can still try to collect that debt. Um, if it, but if it's past the statute of limitation, it just says that they cannot sue you. Now, the one thing you want to be careful with, let's say you get after, you know, the, your, your debt has passed the statute of limitations and they send you a letter and you're like, you know what? I see this debt. You know what? Maybe I want to start making payments on that. Once you make a payment on that debt, it restarts the clock. And unless, and let's say you started making payments on it, you made three, you know, successful payments. And then on that fourth payment, you miss it. And then that fifth payment, you miss it. What happens is they can, now they can come and sue you. So you need to be careful. Like, so if you have a debt that's past the statute of limitations, then I would recommend that you don't do it. Now, remember, this is not, you know, legal advice or financial advice. This is just something that I wouldn't do. I wouldn't, if it's past that statute of limitation, I probably wouldn't make a payment on that. I wouldn't make any payments. But if say, let's say that you want to do it, if you're going to make a payment, make sure you pay it off. You make, make sure you get an agreement, you settle it and you pay it off in full or, you know, whatever you agree to make sure you pay the whole thing off. Don't make partial payments. Cause if you're making partial payments and you miss a payment, then that gives that restarts the clock and they can come after you, um, and sue you again. All right. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope, hopefully I answered your questions. If you got any comments or questions, make sure to leave it down below, hit the like button and share. Uh, and if you haven't done so already, uh, please make sure to subscribe. Right. So you guys take care and have a good one later.